Welcome back. We're going to begin to put together our second, our second dish. Uh, which is going to be the shrimp with the guava butter sauce and angel hair pasta. Well, today we're going to be using uh, black tiger shrimp. Okay. They call it um, tiger shrimp because, you know, usually when the fishermen go fishing, this would be the, the uh, shrimp that would come out and try to attack you. Really? Yeah. It has oh. the little t tiger stripes and everything on it also. And it's a bit darker than the, the regular shrimp. Now, where, where would I be able to find this specifically? Good question. Yeah. In the sea. In the sink. Yeah, that's where they usually are. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, to get this, I'd have to go to fish. Yeah, prob like. probably any um, fish house or any place that carries fresh fish or stuff like that. They probably would have it. Okay. You see, it is um, one of those items which you could, which you almost can find anywhere. Okay. And then if you can't find the black tiger shrimp, the regular jumbo shrimp will do just well. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, we use the bigger ones because we want the little size. You know, yeah. big is beautiful. Okay. Right. Okay. So give me a little bit of olive oil in the pan there. Okay. I'm gonna begin to chop some some basil. Now this is sweet basil. I don't quite know why they call it sweet basil, but I'm gonna use the basil, and this is help to it's gonna help to balance out some of the flavors. You want a little bit more oil in there? Mm -hmm. Let me give you some fire. Now with this dish, what you want to do is you want to use the have the pan rather hot because the shrimp are gonna cook pretty fast, and that's really what you want. You want to sear them on both sides, but we're going to pre-cook them okay. a little because when we add the other ingredients that will make up the sauce, that the, the shrimp are going to cook a bit more in that, so you don't want to cook them straight through. Okay, so let's go. Okay. We get about so, five of those. You can use the clip. Okay. There you go. And put about five of those in there. There you go. Now, you got to be careful with your hands now. You don't want to get burnt from this stuff. Yeah. Okay, you could space them out a little. Yeah, yeah that'll be fine. Okay, let's see how fast you can put them in there. Two more. Okay. All right. Want to add a little salt? Crab. A little salt. It's five. Yeah. And a little pepper. Just put a little, little pepper on there. You want to use that? Yeah. yeah. Now that's a real sexy pepper mill. Yeah. If, if you don't have one of those, you can just Throw in a bit of black pepper, that's fine. Unless you like them real spicy. Okay. okay. I feel a bit nervous. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, it's something different, you know? Yeah. I'm used to... Uh, Chopping up billions, huh? Yeah. Okay, now have you notice it's changing color really fast. When the shrimp, they get kind of pink, that means they're just about done. So you want to flip those real quick. Okay. Uh, ah, I can see. Yeah, just like that. Flip them over. Let me give you a hand. Thanks. Let me give you a hand. See, that's why we leave this to the professional. Yeah, sure. There you go. Now, just give them a little shake. Just some little fire action going on. Okay. Yeah, you could go ahead. You could okay. try that. Alright. Give this a hand. Okay, bring it a little closer. Let me throw some stuff in there. Okay. A little basil. A little garlic. And about, let's say, a spoonful of tomato. This is going to add a little bit of color in there. Go. Okay. You can put it back on the fire. Okay. Now, for, the, for this dish, we're going to be using some guava jam. Okay. Um, and we're substituting that for the guava uh, pretty much because it has a rich consistency. It has the same flavor, but a little bit more depth. So you wouldn't have to add as much because, you know, sometimes your guava could be not so sweet sometimes, you know. So to kind of make sure we have a, even a beautiful taste, yeah. also, also that we can predict what the taste is going to be like, okay. we use the jam. Okay. So you could put a little bit of that, of that in there. Just a spoonful, huh? I'll say about two spoonfuls. Okay. Okay. And We're going to... One more. All right. Yeah. Now... Put twice as much of that in there. Okay. So it has to be kind of generous, huh? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we got a big budget. <laughs> okay, there you go. Now, use the clip. Take take one of the shrimp and okay. we're gonna use that to stir the guava. Real fast. Real fast. Yeah. Really fast. Yeah. Now that's gonna cook pretty pretty quick. So gonna add a little white wine. And this is going to balance off some of the sweetness. 
so it wouldn't be too sweet. It'll have a mellow taste. Go. A little bit more. The thing also about choosing the wine, if as long as you know it's good enough to drink, it probably would be good enough to cook with. Okay. Let's give the pan a shake. Now bring it close to me. Alright. Gonna use some butter. Ah, there you go. There you go. Let's scrape it off. Now, turn the fire a little lower. Okay. Now. To about uh, a yes. low medium? Well, yeah. That, that's fine. Okay. Now you want to keep on stirring it because what you want to happen while you're doing this is you want it to develop some kind of thickness or body to it. You need a little bit more heat for that. And as, as you can see, all of the um, flavors and the sauce, it's kind of reducing and it's getting a bit thicker. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. And that's what the butter's doing. The butter's giving it that happy family type of look. You know, they ain't all separated. Okay. Now, believe it or not, we're gonna begin to plate this. Because we're wow. gonna take the, some of the shrimp out. So you're right, it does cook pretty quickly. Huh? Yeah, it does. It is one of those things that you would have on the fire all day and all night. Okay. All right, here we go. Now, now you could be a gourmet chef in about five minutes, how about that? Yeah. Watch this. We're gonna take these shrimp. We're gonna make a little circle. So you're gonna put one, two, three, four, five, a nice little circle, and the pasta's gonna sit in the middle. Wait. Okay, let's go. Good for that. Uh -huh. Yeah, now if you don't have um, shrimp, you could use um, some scallops or any other seafood. Uh -huh. uh, just as long as it's something that could play well with, with, the, with the dish that you're making. You don't want to have something that, um, that you wouldn't get the same sexy design or appearance from. Okay. You see? So, now, another little trick you're going to learn today. I'm going to bring that in a little bit. Right. And what we're going to do is we're going to ladle some of the sauce over the shrimp. Now, watch this. Now, this is the professional way. There you go. Uh, you don't just drop it there. Yeah. What you want to do is you want to move the spoon along and let the sauce just Cover it like a sheet. Yeah. There you go, you try. Okay. So let's move these bottles out of the way so everyone at home could see what you're doing. Okay. Go ahead. So we just take a, a bit of sauce. Yeah. And, and just spread it over. Spread it over. Yeah, that's it. Shit, yeah. Wow, quick learner. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. And just nappe it over. Yeah, that's what they call it, nappe. Okay. Now, I'm gonna just push this on the side real quick. Just for a few seconds. And what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna put this back on the fire. I'm gonna put some angel hair pasta with this. Now, uh, the pasta is already cooked. Um, we, we cooked it already just to save time, but okay. you could just follow the instructions on the pack or on the box when you get your pasta. The reason we're gonna use the angel hair pasta is because this particular dish is rather light. So since it's light, we want to use a light pasta with it. Um, if, if it was something that had a media sauce or something like that, what we could have done is just put some penny pasta or one of the pasta that has holes yes. with it. But th this kind of flow, flow well with our dish. Okay. Now, this is going to do pretty fast. So what we want to do is take about a handful of this pasta mm -hmm. and toss it right in there. Okay. That's enough? Yeah. Okay. Hold it over the dish. Hold. Okay, you want to pull it up, out? Oh. <laughs> yeah, right. Ah, uh, uh, there you go. Let me get that. Okay. All right. Now, nobody saw you do that. Now, give it a toss. Okay, good, no? close enough. Yeah. Before we don't have any more pasta, <laughs> let me try. Ah. Uh. See? Toss it up and see? So you can get some stunts going on here. <laughs> but um, uh, this here, we're just gonna Wind this up with the pasta. Um, give me about a handful of the parsley. That's the green stuff there. Uh, this one? No, not that one. The next one. It has um, doesn't have really a distinctive flavor or taste, but what it does, it adds a lot of good color to your food. We just sprinkle it on there. Okay. Sprinkle it like a chef. Yeah, that's it. Oh, okay. So it gives your color, your your food, a bit richer color. And what we're gonna do? Take a bit of this, mm -hmm. 
and just rest it in the middle. Ah, oh, that looks nice. It sure does. Put a little tomato there to give it a bit more color. Okay. Now, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and bring the rest of the parsley over. That would be the one that's not chopped. Okay. Clean that up a little bit. Let's get the little edges. And, well, this would be the final touch on this dish. So, I'm gonna take this. Okay. Now, this is the little flower, the little bouquet. So, you can imagine you're out on a date and you're gonna give this pasta a bouquet of flowers. Okay. Set it right in the middle. Okay. Now, if I were giving the, the pasta the bouquet of flowers, I probably would Picked it right, All right in the middle around. there. Yeah. It's yeah. perfect. There you go. Beautiful. Here you have your shrimp with your guava butter sauce. Okay. When we get back, we're going to be eating this incredible dish that Jason and I have prepared. Stay uh -huh. tuned. Okay.